haven't done a Kaiser in a hot minute. <laughs> yeah, right. Who am I fooling? Hey, I bought this one on the secondary market. This is a Kaiser Shoal S35BN titanium, you know, standard older Kaiser um, titanium S35. Yeah. Um, kind of a smaller piece. I think I thought it was bigger. Yeah, there it is. Kaiser Shoal. Kim Ning design. Love the milling. Yeah, I think part of the box is missing. The outer box is missing on it. Yeah, for sure it is. Well, let's see what's up here. Okay. Yeah, instantly... Or instant approval. Yeah. It is just a smaller version of several of these old school Kaisers that have this hinder risk. Is that a word? They have hinder influence on them. And this is just a smaller version of that. And I can just get four fingers on it. But man, it's got this wonderful jimping on the scales, the spine. You know, normally there'd be some here for a hinderer. But yeah, I mean, instant approval. Let's run this action a little bit. Very smooth. I, there's no way this is on washers. This is definitely a bearing knife. Yeah. Love this milling. Gorgeous. It was sold as a new knife, never carried. And so looking it over, uh, you know, I'm going to say just, a, you know, a quick cursory exam. It's got a factory edge. It's not scratched in any way. I don't see any, you know, chips in the edge. And I don't see any wear here, which gets, you know, shows up pretty quick. The front of the pocket clip doesn't show anywhere. I mean, I'm not seeing wear anywhere. No wear anywhere. <laughs> uh, where I would see typical wear on a used knife. Even if it's slightly used, that stuff kind of shows up. Yeah, so, I, you know, I think it was represented well. It is a new knife. I think somebody owned it. And maybe took it out and looked at it and then stored it. Yeah, I, this thing didn't go around in anybody's pocket. Um, but hey, let's get in it. The action's wonderful on it. It's not captured. So let's get an assist. That's okay. That's what he's here for. wonder if it's in backwards. You know what? Let me try that first. Let me come to this other side because sometimes if it's backwards if I go to the correct side I can get it out mm, nah not this time I was making stuff up <laughs> idiot fool oh come on you got two hands two opposing thumbs this should be easy you're making it really difficult man and it's because I'm up on that. I'm up on this. And that is awkward. Let's go here. We'll try turning this side. Yeah, there it comes. But I'm on the wrong side now. So let's switch. I got the wrong side coming out of there. There we go. Nope, that, that was the right side. Yeah, it, it was in there backwards. Which, I mean, creates that problem right out of the gate. It It's not going to come apart properly. When I flip this, I wouldn't have to hold it if I went at it from the correct side. And that's what I'm trying to say. But, we'll flip-flop it. If I can. Sometimes I can't. It's captured the opposite way and it's just not going to let you do what you want to do. Yeah, there's no no reason that I can't flip-flop that. So we'll come in from the other side and we'll put it back together. The detent felt good on it, so I'm not going to mess with this detent. 
although it is overly strong here. Like, no way was that locked up like that. I'm going to look now because it is way over there. Yeah, it's got me, got me going to look. Can I flip top that? Yeah. I mean, I hate to go backwards and, you know, I'm just adding minutes to the video, but unless you're new to the channel, which if you are, welcome. If this is your first video uh, that you're watching here, I mean, 100% welcome to the channel. And get you something to eat and something to drink because it's going to be a minute. All right, let's see where we lock up here. That's what I want to see. There we go. Yeah, way back there. Okay. Well, I mean, it runs pretty good, but that locks up. Well, nah, I'm going to leave it be. I'm going to leave it be. Yep. You don't have to mess with everything. Do I? Or do I? Mm. Where am I missing a bearing? Is it me? Or was there only one bearing in this? Oh, there it is. I was like, come on, man. There's no way that would run like that with one bearing. All right, let's clean it up and put it together. It's got this beautiful little hollow ground S35BN blade, stone washed. And as I've seen in some of these others, they, they buff these out. The transition from the hollow up here to these flats and then the flat here, like they buff these blades out. They, the transitions from these different elevations are really smooth on a lot of these blades. And it's because they, you know, they sanded these. And it makes for a really soft, good-looking blade. I like it. You know, it's extra work that went into a knife back in these time frames. You know, they put the, some extra work in these. That I just don't think that, you know, you find a lot now in a production knife, you know. These were production knives. This wasn't a shop custom or anything. Yeah. Yeah. I almost feel like there's some kind of, some kind of something right there. I think I'm going to try a little bit of the magical, mystical... Ethanol. See if that'll come off. It will not. It's some kind of mar in the titanium itself. Okay. All right. Let's clean up some little parts. Little parts are parts too. I think there's remnants of old grease on these. Or maybe it was that sticky oil. It's like transmission fluid or whatever. It's probably a combination of some kind of uh, mechanics grease and oil. I don't know. Okay. Well, let's wipe this too. Got everything else. Get that pivot. Man, I do like my old Kaiser's. There's so many of them. It seems like uh, at least once or twice a week now, somebody's throwing one up for sale that I've never seen before. I'm just like, oh, I got to get me one of those. I mean, recently I saw one that had dog prints on it. And it was called a walkabout. And uh, yeah, I took a run at it, but somebody wanted it way more than me. It was used, pretty beat up. The pictures revealed quite a bit of that. And I was like, yeah, I'm not, I'm not paying premium money for a used knife, even if I've never seen it before. Like it could be the rarest of the rare, but if the knife's in bad shape, uh, you know, it's, it's not worth, you know, it's not worth premium money. It's just not. 
Somebody thought it was, though. They paid a lot of money for it. Okay. I mean, <laughs> if you're watching the channel, you know, I mean, and you bought it, <laughs> good for you. It just was, it just appeared to be a little high, in my opinion, for a knife that appeared pretty used. You know, I, I mean, so listen, here's what I'm saying. I'm not judging. I need to stop sounding judgy about it. Like, there was kind of this influx that maybe I was saying that somebody paid too much for it and they were foolish. Listen, if I want something, I'm in, you know. I'm going after it. And I have some knives coming up that are example of that. And when when I drop them, I will talk about how, how it's, you know, I found a couple of my grail knives and both of them's Kaisers. And I paid premium money for both of them. But the interesting thing is, is I thought that I was going to pay way more than I did for them. In both cases. And both of them were grail knives. I've been looking for them for quite some time. And just out of the blue, they both dropped at the same time. And uh, I'll talk about those. But they are old school Kaisers. And when they come to the channel, like if you're watching, you know, if you're following along on the channel, I'll be dropping some old school Kaisers. I mean, honestly, I probably have, you know, I I have quite a few old school Kaisers here that I've picked up through the months um, that need to get checked in. I'm just not going to check them all in at one time. But I picked up two recently that, I mean, I keep my eye out for them. And lo and behold, they both kind of just showed up at the same time. And I was like, ooh, I'm, I'm going to have to keep my eye on these because I, I want both of these. And I ended up paying quite a bit less than I thought I was going to have to for both of them. Yeah, just got got lucky. And in both cases, the seller allowed me to make an offer and buy it out from underneath them versus it going to auction. And I think that if they'd have went to auction, I'd have paid, ended up paying twice what I paid for them. Yeah, yeah, I think so. But I don't know. What do you know, man? All right, well, this thing... Let's talk about this action. So it's lowered on this side, scalloped on this side, and so access to that. And remember I said how much extra tension was on there. It's just not a lot of tension. And of course that is created because they've created a really thin part here that creates the flex in this scale. It's very thin right there, so it's very flexible. It's not a lot of tension on it. Um the flipper tab has got some jimping on it. It's not uber sharp, but it's sharp enough that I can grab it. And even if I happen to get a finger on the frame lock or whatever, like this right there, I'm still able to get that out when I'm putting tension on that frame lock. So, yeah, it's got a good flipper tab. Um... I'm going to call this, man, is it good. It is so good. If I pay attention and get my fingers off of that lock, it's basically drop shut. And hear the little ting when it closes? It's got an excellent detent. I wonder if I can fail it. Nope. Yeah, there ain't no fail in this knife. I mean, I'm going to give it an A-. minus. It's just, I'm going to give it an A. For such a small knife, you know, normally in a small knife like this, it's hard to get really good action because the blade's too light, the handle, the ergonomics are such a mess that you can't function the knife well. Not this one, man. It it It's working. It's working really well. I did just notice a scratch right there. I wonder if that was me dinking with it I think it was I don't think that was there before man what a bummer because the knife kept falling over I was like this 
Yeah, sure enough, that screwdriver got into that scale right there. Ah, loser. Took a pristine knife and put a little scratch in it. That's all right. It ain't going nowhere. Um, yeah, there's a cautionary tale. You see it? Fumbling around with that screwdriver, being casual, and I put a little scratch in, in the knife right there. I mean, it's a tiny scratch, and you got to get it in the right light, but, man, it's there. <laughs> what a loser. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Terrible. Um, ergonomics. Let's move on. So, wonderful combat jumping here. I mean, this stuff on the scales, it's... I mean, you lock in there, the only way you're getting past that jimping is to shred your thumb or to release tension. Yeah, wonderful. And so, not so confident, confident, very confident. I mean, honestly, this thing starts swooping up towards very confident. I am really, really locked in on this knife. Excellent ergonomics and, and confident grip in this thing. What about a reverse grip? Yeah, I mean, you can do it. It's a little short for capping the thumb, but, man, I'm so locked in here that that, that works. This, not so much. Yeah, it's not going there. Uh, let's check the pocket clip. Oh, wonderful. Yep. Yeah. Ran like a dream. It's got this wonderful profile sticking out. It looks good. Excellent tension. Standard jean size material. Again, Really nice tension. It's going to retain it in the pocket. My spot back here. Yeah, I dig it. Very nice. Excellent pocket clip. Um, safety. Can I touch blade anywhere? No nope. tips recess. So the clip's excellent. And I'm confident that I can handle this knife anywhere and not get into the sharp part. It's got a great detent. It's going to hold that knife in. Yeah, very nice. Let's check it. that hollow ground. How sharp are we? Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. Let's check that top, that compound grind up top. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wonderful. Excellent, man. Wonderful factory edge, and it's still on the knife. Uh, price and availability. I don't even need to cut away because I, you know, I had never seen one before this one. It just popped up and all this wonderful milling on this titanium scale. I mean, yeah, very cool. So I don't know where you'd find one. And if you did find one, um, I'm, I'm going to guess you're going to be probably north of $150. It's just such a rare, cool, wonderful piece that that's going to be my guess. Uh, north of $150. Because if somebody's selling one... My my guess is they know what they have. Now this one with the scratch in it, <laughs> I probably I'm probably down. It probably took this knife down to 125 dollars. Now it's like, hey, it's new, it's wonderful, but it's got a scratch. I put a scratch in it, like an idiot. Yeah, dummy. <laughs> what an what a loser. Yeah. All right, maybe somebody knows what that's from. Hey, I appreciate y'all watching. It's a Kaiser Shoal. In Kim Ning design, hollow ground, compound, compound hollow ground. Uh, and it's got a small recurve in it. Like, it's got a lot going on there in that blade. Yeah, gorgeous little knife. I dig it. I mean, now that it's scratched, maybe I'll carry it. Put it, Turn it into a carry knife. What a cool carry knife that would be. I don't know. I think I'll, I think I'll leave it as nice as I can. As long as I don't work on it, it's going to stay wonderful. Appreciate y'all watching. Okay, okay. If you stayed to the end, which, you know, you got to do. Yeah, of course I'm not going to leave this knife like that. So, yeah, I mean, I'm going to fix this. And uh, so stay tuned. It's got that scratch in there. And I've started to polish this scale. And I'm going to get that scratch out of there. And then I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the finish on this. I may just polish the whole thing out, which could be cool. But a huge departure from stock in the factory with this bead blast. I may just bead blast it back 
but I also may stonewash it. I may tumble it. Like, yeah, so I haven't really shown any of that on the channel, but I, I'm not going to leave that like that. Of course, I'm going to fix it, man. So I completely disassembled it. I've got a couple of scales here. We'll get it down to the shop where I can work a little heavier on it. And I may film some of that and kind of show me working on this. And, uh, man, we'll, we'll get this thing, we'll get this thing right as rain. As soon as you eat that cookie, you're gonna, you know, you know what I'm saying.